from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Caspia, the most beautiful planet in the Cerulean Quadrant. Nimbus clouds, sapphire seas, deep canyons and towering cliffs. Yet even here, there is no refuge from the forces of doom. Why did the evil commander Cossack come so far? His hungry eyes seeking only one thing. A lone robot surrounded by an army of robots about to attack. Why does he stand so calmly? Does he know what is about to come? Fire! He did it! He beat them all! Now that's what I call a robot. Where did you get him, old witch? <laughs> I stole him from a scientist who lives here. He was designed to be peaceful, but I made a few wicked modifications. <laughs> With an army of these robots, I could conquer the universe. I could conquer Voltron. I could even conquer my father. <laughs> Castle Control, this is Code 80, entering Erujian airspace. We'll be touching down at the Asgard Monument, ETA 906. Hold on, you're not scheduled to land. Who are you? I brought Space Tech EO from planet Caspia in the Cerulean Quadrant. Ah, yes, but what brings you here? You know why EO's here, Karan. Call it a personal pilgrimage if you like. I understand, of course, you're free to land. Hey, Koran, is that techie someone you know? That techie, as you say, is the greatest scientist in this galaxy. I'm thrilled. Let's have some lunch. Maybe we should meet him. I agree. That's exactly what I had in mind. Let's not waste any time. What about lunch? An offering in memory of what was and in hopes of what shall be. I will never forget. Excuse us. <gasps> Look! That's some scientist! I'll say it's a woman! She's pretty! What wow. a surprise! I'm sorry to disturb you, Marianne, but I had to see you. It's been a long time, but I'd like you to work with us again. Wait! I know you've been through a lot, and I respect your decision to work alone. But we need you, Marianne. You know a great deal about robots. More than anyone else in the galaxy, that knowledge is very valuable. We'll give you your own laboratory, whatever you need. I've given up science. <sighs> My last robot was very special, but it was stolen by Zarkon. We'll get it back! How? With more violence and destruction? No! Not Voltron! He's a defender! This is exactly what I mean! Huh? Look how angry you become over nothing. That kind of behavior is exactly why I could never work with you. I've dedicated my life to research to help people, but somehow everything I make ends up getting used for war and conquest. Sorry. It's easy to say I'm sorry and I forgive, but I can never forget what happened on this very spot. This was not always a monument. It was a home. 
my home until Zarkon came. I was only a child, I didn't understand. I only knew that violence was wrong because it left children sad and alone. People tell me that I'm too simple, that there are complicated reasons to fight, but I say that all fighting is wrong. But if nobody fought back, we'd all be slaves to Zarkon. That doesn't mean you have to give up science. Build a new robot, a good one, to replace the one they took from. Oh, my little cat hears all. I'm going home to Caspia. Have a safe journey. If you change your mind, please let us know. She's a pretty special lady. That she is, Lance. She has very strong beliefs. And she is always true to those beliefs. I like her. far behind. But why? I'm afraid she may be following Marianne. If that's true, she could be in great danger. We must go after her immediately. You know what you must do, and you know why. For the Alliance! Try some claw action. There's one behind us. This one's mine. Robot Commando, you're failing me. Attack Green Lion. Look out, kids. There's four of them. I see them. I'll get the last one. like she cut out of here. Hey, she didn't even stick around to say thanks. Wherever she went, she must have gone fast. There's not a sign of her anywhere. Doesn't she realize she's still in danger? Let's see if we can find her home planet. There, that's Caspia. Let's go. <laughs> want to do what's right. <gasps> what's all that noise? It's robots from Planet Doom, and my robot is there too. 
That knowledge is very valuable. Build a new robot, a good one, to replace the one they took from. Think we can do it? I think so. My sensor is picking something up. Huh? You're right. There it is. All right, team, how does a cat land? On its feet! Think it's okay for us to come in here? Shh! Why are we so quiet? There's nobody here but us! This lab looks like it hasn't been used in ages. She just made this place look abandoned so no one would know she was here. There's got to be a clue somewhere. Let's find out. There's an opening. Where? Here. <laughs> look out, it open. Wow. It's a secret room. What are we waiting for? <clears throat> This is where she works, all right. Look! It's her. When she was just a little girl. All right, she can't be far from here. I just hope those Doom soldiers aren't around. This robot is the undefeatable champion. What's that? Where did that thing come from? It couldn't have defeated my robot, but it did. Listen to me. Robots of doom, I am reprogramming your circuits by remote control. You will put down your weapons and never fight again. This is happening. Only fools refuse to believe truth. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. No, you can't do this. I, Cossack, order you to pick up your weapons now! Go away! <laughs> They're gone! Prince Lotor's not gonna like this. You did what? It wasn't my fault, sire. That robot came out of nowhere. Nowhere? That's just where you'll end up if you don't bring them back. Now, take some new robots and get that scientist. There. I can see her position on the ultra wave. Yeah, but something's chasing her. We better get over there fast.
It's all right. Hunk will cover him. I better have a look at that leg of yours. That's better. Where did you learn that? Medicine is part of our training. I didn't know that. I thought that you only knew about fighting. Believe it or not, Mary Ann, we try to avoid fights whenever we can. Keith! They got Pinch. I got there too late. Hacker's holding him as a hostage. They said they'd let him go if we'd hand over Mary Ann. But I said, forget it. I'd rather take them all on. No, that's not fair. I'll hand myself over. No chance. Hunk, I've made up my mind, and that's that. Ugh. It must be that leg wound. She's got a fever. Bring me some water and a couple of indigo leaves. I'll try to pull her out of this. If anyone can, you're the guy, Dr. Keith. I hope so. I wonder what's keeping them. <gasps> Indigo works fast. What happened? You passed out. You've been very kind to me. I'm afraid I misjudged you. Well, I knew you were top flight right from the start. But what about Pidge? We'll go after him now. No, I will. Hey, wait! Let's follow her. <laughs> for sale or trade? One miniature space explorer for one female robot scientist. No! Buy it! A deal? Or shall I offer him as a staff to a local cannibal? Hand him over first. Now, dearie, you come here first! That's not fair! I'm never fair! It gives me a rash! Now, get rid of your little friends, eh? No way! This is between me and the lady, or the deal's off! All right, I'll ask them to leave. Mary Ann! Don't worry, I've arranged a surprise, and it's just on schedule. Trust me! Uh, sure, we'll leave. Right, Hunk? Oh, uh, sure. I don't like that geyser. Why? It goes off like that at the same time every day, just like clockwork. Who cares? Let's make our trade. I want to get this over. Exactly what I had in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon me. Quite a ride, huh? I'll say! This guy's really terrific! Oh. Hey, trust me! Well, two can play at that game! I hope you like your surprises gift wrapped! This one even has polka dots! <laughs> How do you rate him? On the row B scale, minus infinity. That's too high, Lance. Let's invent a new number. It still wouldn't be low enough. There's the all-time row beast loser. I think he took offense. Well, if we're going to offend him, let's do it upright. I know what you mean. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracell up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's, let's go. go. Okay, team, let's jump into this thing feet first. You know what I think his problem is? He 
doesn't get regular dental checkups. I can see that. Hey, what are those things? is still knocked out. I better move fast. Go, Blue Ryan! Hey, what happened? You don't have the right visors, so keep your eyes closed. All right, team. I hope I can do this right. Ready? Voltron Force returned to the Castle of Lions with two special guests. Yummy cake, not for roads. Wait, come back, do not steal yummy cake. Even a scientist can't think of everything. Neither can a princess, but I'll bet between the two of us we don't miss much. <laughs> <laughs> the worlds of science and imagination. Here on planet Eris, they are only a dream away. For this is the home of Voltron, defender of the universe. <laughs> 